great Loki. The planets are in place in the sky. Soon the chains which bind you to the Earth's heart will be burst asunder by the dragon's rousing. Excellent, Raven Dark. Work the spell to wake the dragon and shatter this world that holds me captive. And Odin's curse, Dark Lord, will be lifted as well? When next you leave the dragon's mouth, you will not transform into a bird of ill omen, but retain the form of man that you now hold. Oh, to walk the earth as a man again. I will begin the spell at once, straight Loki. again. Crack the planet that dares to chain me. Wake the dragon so that it may set me free. Pick up a few things. Okay, no biggie. Come on, a few things? Why didn't she just give me the encyclopedia and say, get me aardvark through zoophile? Blue light special in aisle nine. Kumquats in aisle 12. Cocktail weenies on sale in aisle 21. Mighty Max, please go to aisle 7. Frozen foods. What? Well, I guess I'll get a rain check for this stuff. Should have brought a sweater. <gasps> Hi, Norman. Mighty One. Allow me. Thanks, Verge. Hey, hey pretty handy. <laughs> Built-in feather dusters. <clears throat> yes, quite. Okay, guys, shoot. What is new and horrible in the world today, huh? The signs are not entirely clear. All that is certain is that a cursed necromancer named Raven Dark, last of the Viking sorcerers, is about to essay a spell of catastrophic proportions, and only the mighty one... Can stop him. I know, I know, yada, yada, yada. I am beginning to see a pattern in this mighty one business. So where does this Raven Dark dude hang out? He resides within a cavern of the Dragon of Doom. Wow, a dragon too! Cool, I should bring a camera with me on these expeditions. <laughs> and, and the cavern is, uh... At the top of these cliffs, Mighty Max. Uh, I could have guessed that if I'd wanted to. Uh, Verge, are you sure there's no portal to the top? My feet are killing me. Ah, the Doom Dragon. We meet again, old worm. The years have clothed you in dirt and shrubbery, great lizard. I hardly recognized you. Who's he talking to? Norman is addressing the Doom Dragon, mighty one. You shall fall as always, foul beast. The dragon in the cave? The dragon is the cave, mighty one. The whole cave? I suddenly don't feel very mighty. Norm, you know this guy? Fought him before. They even wrote a song about it. What, Puff the Magic Dragon? <laughs> Hurry, I sense the sorcerer. The spell nears completion. We must not let that happen or Earth is in peril. Boy, feels kind of creepy just strolling into a dragon's stomach. It's not something I normally do voluntarily, you understand? The hammer and helmet of Thor. I thought I'd lost these forever. <sighs> Still fits. Wait a minute. You were Thor? Yes, I served Odin. As you well know, Mighty Max, the powers occasionally contract outside talent to maintain the cosmic balance. From Ginnungagat, where there is no grass. Hurry! To Mergamer, where the fires rage. Arise now! Arise, Ori! Ginnar commands! Ravendark demands! What's he doing? Redecorating? Good heavens, he's waking the Doom Dragon! But that will mean the end of the world! Oh, this must be stopped at once. Allow me. Stop, foul necromancer! Hey! Who dares to intrude upon me in 
the midst of my workings. Nobody here but us chickens. You are waking the Doom Dragon. Perceptive. You may stay and watch, in which case you will be among the first to die, or you may attempt a panicked and useless flight and postpone your end by moments. Uh, I'll have to flip a coin on that one. Verge, why do I get the feeling that waking the Doom Dragon is a bad thing? When the Doom Dragon arises, he will rupture Odin's rift, cracking the world asunder. Uh-huh. Sort of have you riven a fjord lately? <clears throat> uh, Rave? Mr. Magic Guy? <laughs> Hi. Why would you want to do a thing like that? I mean, you gotta live on this planet, too. The same foul powers which entranced the dragon trapped my master Loki and doomed me to a bird's body if I leave this cursed cavern. There are other worlds, and I've little love for this one. And so, an end. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The Unbinding. I'll have to ask you to desist with your spell. Casting, of course. My people use the entrails of birds to define the future, Chicken Man. From Ragnarok to Niflheim, the moments pass, the sun don't shine. running out of ideas here. And time, mighty one. The spell is almost complete. Raven Dark, why is the dragon not awake? What is delaying the spell? A minor annoyance, Dread Loki. I have only a few runes to complete. Finish this, fool! That voice is familiar. Yeah, I thought so too. Free me! Master! Hey, Ravy, that's not Loki you've been groveling to. You're getting ringed by a master. Skull Master! The chosen one. Raven Dark, wake the dragon. Now! It is finished. Somebody like matches. It is getting rather barmy in here. Dragonfire! Run away! <laughs> Get... Wait! Virgil! No, that... Just wait here until the end of the world. Hurry, Mighty One, or we'll be lost. Mighty One? We lost him.
at you again. Uh, I could burn you where you stand, little thunderer, but I want to hear you scream as I swallow you whole. Swallow this. Uh, uh, I must erunch your head and your hat. Perhaps I'll give him both in a single packet. Ah, uh, yeah. It's good to get that holiday shopping done early. Whitling! This guy's gonna toast me if I don't think fast. Would I freeze under I? I'll rip you like I rip this mountain. Haha! Most for worm! Surrender now and spare yourself needless pain. I certainly hope that the mighty one is handling things better than we are. Slow as ever, ungainly beast. Slow and stupid. It would be stupid to destroy this miserable world without leaving you alive to witness it. Helpless to stop me. Cowardly worm! Had enough? How do I convince him to get out of that hole and try to kill me again? I believe that I can offer a suggestion. Liar! You blaspheme against my master in the midst of his temple. I'm telling you, your master is Skullmaster. And he's a top ten slime ball who doesn't care a lick about you or your chained god, Loki. More lies! My dread lord is grateful to his obedient servants. Oh, cry me a river. Is that why you're the last one in the world, huh? What's your dread lord done for you lately? He has lifted the curse that transforms me when I leave this place. No, he hasn't. And I don't just have to prove it. One meter down and a little to the left. Got it. Strike it now. Odin, guide my hand. <clears throat> You said I strongly advise that you vacate your current location at once. I sincerely hope that you have a plan of some sort. Plan? Moi? <laughs> come on, you know I just improvise. Now, boy, your time is come on. Ah! A bird! Still cursed! He doesn't look so bad to me. Rather handsome plumage. And for my next trick... Betray! Bingo! You got that right, Beaky. Looks like Loki lets you down. I hear tell, though, that revenge is pretty sweet this time of year. Revenge! Hey, great idea. And I know just how to tick your old boss off. Time is short, mighty one. Tell me about it. Look, we got four, maybe five minutes before Skullmaster or Loki or whoever gets the last laugh and turns his planet into an asteroid belt. So if you want to get the last laugh, listen to me. Okay, you gotta put Godzilla over here back to sleep before he busts up the world. Ah, I have to get back inside. Can't work magic if I'm not a man. Ah. The prospect of gaining entrance through the dragon's mouth at this time is highly unlikely. No, duh, Verge. Hey, there isn't a portal that leads into the dragon, is there? You know it doesn't work that way. However, it is just possible. Now, here's what you must do. Don't. Come, mighty one. You too, sorcerer. Where are we going? Shopping. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Hey! 
No pets allowed in the store. Oh, chill, dude, will you? These are my seeing eye birds. I can't make intelligent purchases without them, okay? Timing will be crucial on this, mighty one. We three must step through this entrance portal here, just as Norman lures the Doom Dragon to the exit portal at the base of the cliff. When the dragon's belly occupies the same space as the exit portal, we will have only seconds to step through into the beast. How will we know when to jump? Norman and I have this entire operation synchronized. We have both been counting down. And if my calculations are correct, and they always are, Norman shall have enticed the dragon into the correct position exactly 37 seconds from now. 72 Mississippi, 73 Mississippi, 74. Ho! Oh, great stupid worm! Has your long sleep made you so cumbersome? Ha! Gotcha! 75 Mississippi, 76 Mississippi, 77. Whoop! Burn, insect! Stinking lizard, you made me lose my count. Unless Norman has lost his count, we should be ready to jump in 17 seconds. Grubbins! Ah! Hold that thought. 13 seconds. Ah, I always hated math. No more counting, Thunderer. Just as well, since you also have no more time. Time, mighty one! Jump! 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 Boy, that was some kind of curse, all right. Oh. <clears throat> and unlifted by my lying master, I'll put this foul lizard to sleep and chain the wretch to darkness forever. <laughs> cool. Loki! Skullmaster, actually, but who cares at this point? The Chosen One. Brave and dark. Why is he still alive? Gaia! The curse isn't lifted. My doom still remains. Indeed. But thanks to you, my doom is about to disappear. <laughs> Excuse me, but the only thing that's taking a hike around here is you, buddy. Time to tuck in the big lizard, Raven Dark. You wouldn't break the spell, Blackie. I doubt it, considering the price it takes to quench the magical flames. Price? Price? Who said anything about a price? Only blood can quench this fire. Oh, no! Don't look at me! The Bloodmobile came to my school just last week! My blood! My soul! Wait, 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 wait! But, but that means... It is the way of the cosmic balance, mighty one. Leave this place. This is not for your eyes. I have just woken! Hey! We made it! And no chicken tandoori! Mighty one! Virgil! Hey, Normie! You miss me, you big lug? Raven Dark paid the ultimate price for trafficking with evil gods. Well, I'll tell you, those evil gods are worse than insurance salesmen. He acquitted himself well in the final moments, though. As did you, Norman. Thor's mallet has served me strongly again. Wow! Nice toss, Normie! You chucked that like a pro! Well, of course. Didn't you know that one of the old Icelandic names he used to go by was, um, the Hurler? The Hurler? The Hurler? <laughs> oh, boy, they must have really known how to party back then, huh? <laughs> the Hurler! Oh, give me a break. This week we went to Norway, a country that is 1,100 miles long and in some places only four miles wide. 
Did you know Norway's called the land of the midnight sun? Well, that's because a third of the country is above the Arctic Circle, and from May to July, the sun never sets. Sounds kind of confusing, huh? I'll see you tonight. Uh, today? <laughs> is this dinner or breakfast?